Uh, airport runs for you today. I, I don't want you hanging around here. How many times, Karen? I'm not going to go near Tracy Barlow. Right. Right. I suppose I better check what's showing tonight, haven't I? Yeah, well, uh, I'll phone the cinema for you in my lunch hour. Look, Mum, you don't have to go to the cinema. Oh, brilliant. So much for you trying to make it up. I mean, I mean, if you want to go somewhere else, Mum. Don't worry. I'll be out of the flat. They'll get your cosy night in. It'll take more than a cosy night in for you to get back in one good books. Hey, listen, I'm not going to be able to think of anything else all day but you. So I'm going to make tonight a natural number. Good, I look forward to it. Stay away from Tracy Barlow. Morning. Sorry I can't chat. I've left the baby with a surrogate father. Blanche. I'll uh, see you later. Uh, not if he sees you first. Look, I mean what I said, if you go anywhere near her, I will go. I won't. Bus, come back for me. One trip to Pennykings factory, one trip back, right? And that's your lot. You end the appointment, you just have to miss it. I'll get charged. It's too short notice. What's up with her? She forgot she's got a dentist appointment. Well, what's funny about that? Well, nothing. I'm just in a good mood. Had a good weekend. Oh, doing what? Babysitting Amy. <laughs> no, not for the last time. Why, is that what Tracy said? No, no, but me and Roy have got plans. Can't say what, cos I might curse it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would have been all right if we was working here. I could have popped out for an hour. Well, you're not working here, are you? You're lucky to be working anywhere. Where's that minibus? Hey, Mr Baldwin, I hope he's not going to be late, cos he's bad enough having to go all that way as it is. We don't know whether to be grateful, you lot. Why would I want to go and watch a bunch of kids dancing off the top of a car singing about being mechanics? Well, you liked, you liked it when we went. We were kids. And it was Olivia Newton John. Yeah, but I told Sally I'll go now and I bought the tickets. You don't like Sally. I never said that. Anyway, what about Kevin? He'll be offended if you don't go. No, he won't. I don't ask him to go and watch our Craig play footy, do I? I'm not going. Right, well, let me see about that. What a spot? You can hardly see my face for it. Give over. You can hardly notice it. I can. Sophie! Well, I can. I don't feel well. Can I stay off? No, you can't. I, if she don't feel well, she shouldn't go in. She needs to be fresh for the show tonight. Don't worry, love. I'll write you a note. Oh, well, say what? Rosie's spot was too ever to drag to school. Dad! She said she doesn't feel well. She's fine. She's going to school. In fact, I'll drop them off myself. Sophie, get your stuff together. Rosa! Hey, don't make a shout! She's got to protect her voice. Don't you get a kiss? Thought we'd go for a burger tonight. On a school night? Yeah, spend some time together. I know what you're doing. This is because you're upset over Nick. It's got nothing to do with Nick. Of course it has. You couldn't be more wrong. I realise that I've let me problems with Nick and Sarah before him preoccupy me, and... Well, you're the one who suffers, aren't you? Mum, I never suffer. And you're the one who's never let me down, so that's not fair, is it? I'm going to put it right. So, go on. I'll see you later. Can't stop. Have a meeting to cover. Ask her about the christening outfit. Oh yes, did you get it? It's gorgeous. Oh. Ask her to show it you. Go on. Well, where is it? It's in the bag by the sofa. Oh, Tracy, you might hang it off. It's going to be all crease come Friday. Ask her how much it costs. Mother, do you mind if I pick my own questions? I mean, we all know christening robes are expensive, but it's tradition. And if Tracy wants to spend, what do you think? Um, it's lovely. What did you get for Amy? Exactly. I reckon she ran out of money. Look, those christening outfits are really expensive and she's only going to look like she's dressed up in doilies. <gasps> it's tradition. Amy's not going to know the difference. You could wrap her up in newspaper, she won't be bothered. Tracy! All I'm saying is I'm going to get more use out of this. She's only going to wear hers once. Oh, you are getting a summer then. And where do you plan to get the money from? Just don't look in this direction. Or this one. Don't worry, I won't. Hey, uh, what are you doing back? Oh, I had two cancellations. 
Told Audrey I had to go and talk to Steve about the flat. OK, well, let me take you for a coffee, then. Hey, what's the with you? Oh. This might be a surprise. What are you doing with these? Well, I was putting them around the flat, but I ran out of <laughs> bottles and stuff. Mm, what do you like? In love with you. Mm. So you've not got any regrets, then, about moving in? Not only one. Not your mum? No. That you've got a key and can spoil my surprise. <laughs> Cab, please. Sorry? Don't take the mic. I've had two fillings. I need to get to King's Worms. Well, uh, I'm on my lunch, so I'll have to go and sort it out with Eileen. Oh, Tracy. Tracy, could I have a word? What? In private, if you don't mind. It won't take a moment. Don't go anywhere, right? Haley and I very much enjoyed having care of little Emily. Good. Uh, we, we've got a proposition. It could best be described as a, a win-win arrangement. Go on. We're proposing to waive some, possibly even all, of any month's debt repayment in exchange for access. Babysitting, such like, for, for, for Amy. What, what? You want to pay me so you can babysit? Well, yes, that, that could be one interpretation, yeah. Right, get in. What, what, what do you think? Yeah, yeah, fine. I mean, I'm sure we can sort some out. Oh, oh, good, excellent. Then the other matter, the annulment. Oh, Roy, I've already told you. Yes, sooner the better. Well, my solicitor's sending the paper. She said it should be quite straightforward. Fine. I don't think anybody will see it with it being the theatre. Be different if it was on the telly, though. Oh, not expecting much of an audience then. Of course I am. Sally's not talking about people seeing the show, Norris. We're discussing a spot. Rose is grown overnight. You won't mention it in the review, will you, Ken? Because she'd be ever so hurt if you drew attention to it. I'll try to concentrate on the show itself. Because she'd never eat last of it. Because that one plain Sandy, she's a right spot cow. Right, well, I'll see you later. Do you know, I'll be glad when this first night's over. Oh, yes. Hi, Sam. Oh, yeah. Looking forward to tonight? Well... Gail, don't distract her. She's 101 things to do. She's right. I'd better go. I'll see you later. Yes. Bye. That were close. Honestly, people who live vicariously through their children. Oh, vicariously, is it? Oh, it means substituting your ambition. I for know those... what it means, thank you, Norris. Nothing wrong wanting the best for your children, is there? No, of course there isn't, though. Thank you. Bye. Oh, is that like a minefield in here today? I don't know. Yes, but what would you expect to pay per hour? Yeah, but I'm not looking for a babysitter. Uh, look, no, I'm trying to establish what value, on average, a mother would attach to an hour's supervision of her child. I don't know. If it was our Nick, a pint, our David, a couple of bars of chocolate. Hey, what table are these for? Oh, uh, uh, fine. Oh, hello, school dinner's not good enough for you. I need you to talk to our Nick. He had a right deal with Mum yesterday over Maria, so he's moved out of our house and gone and lived with her. Why does she always do this? My mum, can't she keep out of our business? Will you talk to him? <laughs> What's the point? You know what Mum's like. Yeah, I do. She's doing my head in and it's going to get worse. Just tell him that he needs to make it up with her, please. But Nick won't listen to me. Oh, well, thanks a lot. It was the same when you got her in the state and it's always me that cops for it oh, all. Oh, David, I'll have a word with Nick. I'm not promising anything. You were meant to come and see me. Well, if I'd have thought it was worth listening to, then I would have. But I know it's just another one of your games. You're wrong. I don't think so. She wasn't very pleased to see us chatting yesterday, was she, Karen, all this morning? I wonder how she'd feel if I popped back later when you're both in. I bet she can't even open her eyes in the morning without thinking of your baby across the street and the woman who had her. Do you enjoy this? Not particularly. That's why I've got a suggestion. Some of that's going to make life easier for the both of us. Just let me in, Steve, and I'll explain. Just tell me, eh? It's cold. I don't want Amy catching out. OK, fine. I'll come back later. Tracy! Oh, stop looking so scared, Steve. Karen's gone to the other factory, hasn't she? I saw her leave on that minibus. What is the worst that can happen?
special occasion. Yes. A night in with my wife. Splashing out for it, eh? No, actually, that was a wedding present. Means I don't have to go and fork out and wine. Well, if you're that skint, you're not going to like my proposition very much. Oh, I knew this would be about money. Of course it's about money! How much do you think that little lot cost, eh? And that's just today's stuff. I thought you said this proposition was going to benefit both of us, not just you. Yeah, well, it is. Because it'll be a damn sight easier for you to slip me 50 quid a week without Karen knowing than me to force it out of you. Oh, yeah? And what are you going to do? Send the heavies round? Who's that going to be, uh, Blanche? Oh, huh. How much do you think a lawyer's going to cost you, Steve? What lawyer? When I take this to court. What's the point? How many times do I have to spell it out for you? I have no money. I have nothing. Zilch. The wedding, which you ruined, completely left me skint. 50 quid a week will be cheaper in the long run. And it'll save us having to air our dirty laundry in public again. I don't think Karen was very keen on that the last time, was she? Look, I can't give you money which I haven't got. And what is that smell? Have you got anywhere I can change her? Yeah, across the road at your house. <sighs> Look, hold her with you a minute while I get a clean nappy. No. Oh, fine. Well, suit yourself. Look, you're not putting her there. I bet you've never changed a nappy in your life, have you, Steve? <coughs> You should be grateful it's only money that I'm after. I thought he was meant to drop us off at the Rovers. Oh, we had a right cob on. Yeah, he was happy enough to drop Ailey off at the car. Yeah, well, he weren't, though, wasn't he? That's what put him in a bad mood. Said he weren't flaming taxi. What time do you call this to be knocking off? You've only done half a day. Yeah, three and a half hours we did. Hardly worth getting out of bed for. Uh -huh. My wife don't get out of bed for less than 40 quid. <laughs> Bet she don't get into it for less than either, will you? <laughs> hey! I don't think you've got any right to be questioning other people's bedroom habits. How is Steve? Tommy! Should we go to the Rovers, girls? Mm -hmm. Don't work too hard. Aye, aye, you're Steve skiving. No, he'll be scrubbing the place spotless. Oh, and I promise, is he? Yeah, if he passes inspection, and I am very strict. <laughs> hey, some blokes love taking orders, don't they, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to negotiate what we consider reasonable access for the sums of money involved. Do you think she'll agree to it? Yes, yes, I do. Aren't you please? Well, not long ago we thought we'd lost everything. And now Tracy's agreed to annul a marriage which has hung like a weight of shame upon me. And, and circumstances seem favourable for us seeing the baby. And not just now and then, but, well, regularly. Yeah, I know, and it, and it was lovely to have the baby with us again. Got a glimpse of how things might have been. Hayley, Hayley, we, we, we have to stop thinking of what might have been. I'll be with you in a second. Yeah. Look, if we have our way, we can be better than parents to that child. Better? We, we could be the adults that she turns to when things aren't going so well at home. The place she feels free to talk with, without fear of reprisals. And if, you know, when she gets to that difficult age, she does feel the need to run away, we'll be the doorstep she turns up on. <laughs> they're getting all pally pally with Deirdre. Well, are they having a dinner? No, they're not. I'll tell you what they're doing, getting cosy and playing grandma. You can't blame her for wanting to see her on. Here you come. Can I get you anything else, girls? Oh, sorry, Betty, we're still dithering. <laughs> oh, carry on, love. You can't beat a good dither. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, we could always go and have a coffee back at my place if you'd rather. No, let's wait a minute. I've already been banned from the flat tonight. I don't want her thinking I've been binned from here and all. You, know, you could feel sorry for her if she wasn't so aggressive about everything. I mean, it's only her and Amy who haven't done anything wrong in all this. Hey, don't be painting Karen the little innocent. All she wants to do is keep Steve away, which deprives our baby of a father. Ah, oh, I'm just relieved Amy's with her mum. I mean, that's the important thing, isn't it? Steady on, cars. We've got all afternoon. Thanks for phoning me. By the time I got on the factory floor, the bus had gone. Were you lot on it? Um, sorry, Tonya, will you say that again? I only caught half of it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you showing it was for? We didn't want to do half a day. I was the dentist. <laughs> Flooming expensive. You know how much I've had to fork out for today? Oh, I have a brandy lump. It's fizzes round. Mm, I'd probably dribble it everywhere. My face feels like it's fell off. <laughs> right, brandy and a mop then. <laughs> yeah. I'll see you outside, love. Right. 
Found the pictures, did you? Oh, uh, no. But I think they're showing uh, Lord of the Rings, all three parts, back to back in Manchester. <laughs> right, well, I think I'll sort myself out, but don't worry. I won't be back early. If she does, she'll find the chain on. I'm in Steve to myself tonight. Hey! How's the patient? Ah, oh, you know, right? Thank you, sweetheart. He's sick. Have you got an understudy? Because I'd suspect poison. I told him I was ill. He sent me to school. Hey, I thought you'd just be mad about that spot. You said you couldn't see my spot. What happened? Oh, school phoned me. Threw up. <laughs> don't be ridiculous. Sorry, she's not well. What do you mean you threw up? Hey, don't shout at her. Well, what were you doing? Leaning over like this. Well, you're well enough to back chat. Look, come on, let's get you to bed. Bed? But, Kevin, what about the show? Everybody's coming. What am I going to tell them? Oh. Bet you wish I was as easy to get rid of. Fat chance. But I think you're getting a good bargain, 50 quid to save your marriage. Well, not as fragile as you think. What, you reckon I don't know how to make her think you're up to something you shouldn't be? Look, Tracy. We used to be good friends, me and you. You know, can't you at least just let me try and make a go of this marriage? You know, I didn't want any of this to happen. Yeah, then pay me the money, Steve, and I'll be out your hair. I don't trust you. Yeah, well, you trust me to ruin your life if you don't pay up, so there's a start. <laughs> Well, let me think about it. Think about it? Well, I need to know if it's possible, money-wise. Yeah, well, you better make a decision today or the deal is off. Fine, you've made your point. Now, can you just go now, please? Yeah, well, will you hold a minute, because I've got to get my stuff together. I'll put it in the pram. She'll cry. Go on, take her. You want me out of here as quick as possible, don't you? No. Don't you look a picture. <laughs> ah, it's good timing. What can I get you? Do I look like a man that needs a drink? A large one for Mike, please. Betty and a half for me. OK, look. Actually, I'm the one who needs a drink. I'm reviewing Rosie Webster's show tonight. Highly political. Well, can't you say they were all wonderful? Yeah, well, sure what you know about the star system. <laughs> <laughs> What are they doing there? Oh, I have no idea. I just did myself. <laughs> Betty, how long have they been sitting there? Oh, about a drink and a half. Oi! Hey, you lot, what are you doing in here? It's a lot we're doing. I beg your pardon. We're having a drink, Mr Baldwin. Penny King sent us home. I hope you haven't showed me up. Oh, fat flaming chance. There weren't enough machines going. Do you want to give us half a day? Some of us never even got that. All right, well, half a day's better than no day, isn't it? I don't know. You lot, you're always whinging. You're never happy. Happy? We were promised a day's work. I've had to fork out for the dentist, a cab, a bus back. All right, all right, so you got out early. So what have you missed? Three, four hours, what? 20 quid? <laughs> I bet you spent more than that in here. How we spend our money's our own business. Well, 20 quid might be out to you, but some of us need that to get food on table. Drunk? And moaning about money. Hey, are you listening to this one? This one? I've got a name and I'm not drunk. I always forget names very quickly when they get on my nerves, especially when I'm suggesting them for extra shifts. Oh, so it's all right for us to be messed about. Sit down before I lose my patience. Before no, you... Sit down. I had a bad day and getting sacked ain't going to improve it. Oh, you're like a terrier when you're rattled, you. <laughs> yeah, get that down your neck. <laughs> I'm on the inside of your neck. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right, girls, I best be off. See what treats my Stephen is dreaming up for me this evening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Nick. It's all right. Not done this to try and keep me out of the flat again, have you? No, I was just thought you might be hungry. Oh, is the Weatherfield flower show up there, then? No, oh, it's not. <laughs> I got distracted bringing around looking for work. Mm. Hey, here you are. Been ringing your mobile. Uh, yeah, sorry, it switched off. Avoiding somebody, are you? Like Mum? So you've heard, then. Why, she's had some oh, David has. She's doing his head in. Oh, come on, it's not fair. Just give her a call. You weren't so keen to make the peace when it was you and Todd she was having a go at. That's not the point. Yeah, it is. So don't come lecturing me. I've got nothing to say to her. 
What? I mean it, Sarah. You're wasting your time. I'm not interested. She's ever such a good sleeper. Or I am. I don't waken any road. Oh, it's tortuous if your sleep's disturbed. I'm all over the place if Emily's had a restless night, aren't I, Rita? She's up and down those stairs. She to... says the same about you. Uh, you should get one of them gates. That'd stop her. Uh, any chance of getting served? Get one of them stair gates. Then you can sell it to us second hand next year. <laughs> I doubt our Tracy will be able to afford new. That was for my benefit, Blanche. Needn't bother. Steve isn't interested. Uh, what can I get you, Karen? Uh, it's some oh. usual fags, right? It's four fifty, love, please. Yes, that's right. You could buy a pack of nappies for that. I don't smoke nappies, Blanche. Oh, you can mock. Throwing this money around like she hasn't a care in the world. Uh, this is my money, not Steve's. Just as well. <laughs> Steve is saving all his money up to spend on me, just like it should be. So you can tell your Tracy she thinks that he's going to waste one penny on her or that brat of hers. Then you can tell from me. Be of my dead body. All right. Thank you for backing me up. Oh, I never get involved in customers' arguments, Brandt. It's a golden rule. Well, there are times when folk should jump down off the fence and take sides. And get on the wrong side of Karen MacDonald. No, that, that, that's not taking sides, Blanche. That's pure kamikaze. What a smell! What have you been cooking? What the hell is going on? She was sick. 